Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Do you know what's going to happen in this episode? The final mission. Uh-huh. So, before when I went to the Gallup Chamber, it said, you have, or we have, no soldier capable of using this device. It turns out what you need to be able to use it is a Psy Armor, I think it's called. Let's go find it. Yes. It doesn't seem to mention anything about it being needed. I don't know if anywhere mentions that you need it. Oh wait, more info. Oh, more info. I didn't even know that button was there. I never looked at it. Um, Yeah, we must augment their psionic defense against whatever dangers they may encounter. Equip a psionically gifted soldier with a suit of psi armor. Okay, yeah. So it actually says there. So let's go ahead and grab one. Alright, so it's going to give whoever wears it four less armor than the Titan armor, which is... Uh, that's a pretty big hit to take, but... I'll probably just give it to Isley. Who, since she's a sniper, you know, she doesn't really need to worry about getting shot at too much. Okay. Other than that... Oh, I need to actually equip it. We've done it, Commander. Dr. Valen is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. I recommend we get started immediately. Of course you do, Central, because you're an idiot. So there's one thing left to do before doing the final mission. And that is that after, do after getting the heavy weapons platform, or whatever it was called in the foundry, I've unlocked mech close combat, which will vastly increase the amount of damage that the punch attack does with... Uh, Tyrone M. I believe it goes from 12 to 18 damage? Yeah, yeah? Yeah. So I want that done before. What the hell is it? What the hell is that? Rush construction? No. Th what the fuck? It's not even properly centered in the button. What the, what the fuck is that? Oh. I see. Oh shit, did... Did I rush it or not? I accidentally pressed the go button. What the hell was that button? It looked like it had been hacked in and wasn't properly implemented. I'll make sure production begins immediately. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wait for that to finish. And done. Okay, there's something else here, right? Council report request from Asia. Yeah. Oops. It's time to go, right? This is it. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we've been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. In other words, this is the end of the game. Be warned. Okay. Well, it's almost time to begin the final mission, but... Before doing that, I would like to take a moment... ...to remember our fallen comrades that allowed us to get to this point. Yep. And to honor their memory. I am going to play a piece that I created to honor. Raikou Padre Blunda. Corbald Dresden. Ying Ventus... Vent, Ventus Swing? I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'm sorry you're dead. And something Malmus. So I've written this piece to honor your memories. Let me play it. Let me get over to the keyboard. That is my incredibly old keyboard that I just recently got and I don't know how to play it. And that is a song I play to honor your memories. My fallen comrades. Died. Blunda died to a sniper rifle from an exalt elite soldier. 
Elite Sniper. Elite Sniper Soldier. Whatever. Gorbal Dresden died to a plasma pistol from a sectoid. I remember that. I remember you were on top of a building. And you got critted. From a plasma pistol from a sectoid. What a way to go. You're a sniper. I remember. I put you up there because you were a sniper. I was giving you a high vantage point, but... I wasn't expecting that. Wings died to a light plasma rifle from a floater. I remember that, too. That's right. I was trying to get some... Some chrysalids. Or at least one chrysalid. And one of those floaters... Floated down. On his jetpack of doom. And... Critted. Wings. From a flanked position. Malmus, I remember your death. You died to the mini cannon from a mechtoid. Because you're an assault trooper. And I moved you right up next to the, the mechtoid. But I wasn't able to kill it that turn. So, it is with their efforts that we have managed to get to this point. Now I need to be very, very sure that there's nothing for me to upgrade. I know everybody's gene mods are good. There's nothing to upgrade that's going to give me anything significant. Uh, what about pistols? Do I have the best pistols? Just in case, I do want the best pistols. Where's, where's the plasma pistol? There it is. No, I don't, actually. Alright, let's get three of these. You never know. It might make the difference. I think that's it. Here we go. The final mission. The final step. Once your ethereal device is triggered, all forward progress will be stopped. Any current research or foundry projects will not be completed. Any injured soldiers in the infirmary will not be healed. Commander, are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes. It's up to you, Isley. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. Our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. At long last, you have succeeded where we have failed. New objective, assault the temple ship. And there it is, temple ship assault. <sighs> Once again, is there anything I need? Is there anything I'm missing? I really, really want to be sure about this. I'm just thinking, this is going to be an endurance run. There's going to be a lot of things to kill. It's going to be a very long mission. I believe when I did this in Enemy Unknown, it took me about two hours. So I need to make sure I keep everybody healed because they're undoubtedly going to get hurt. I have my medic, of course, with four heals, and he can heal up to ten hit points, I think. Which should be enough, I hope. But I need to be very conservative with my ammo. At least my, my consumables, like my medkits, of course, and my rockets and my grenades. I want to save them for the final chamber. 
Surely nothing I can change about that here, though. I could give someone else a medkit, but what's the point? I believe... Like, I'm thinking, what if what if my medic goes down, you know? Maybe I, maybe I should give someone else a medkit so they can bring the medic back up. However... Uh, Graves... Has revive. Allows medkits to revive critically wounded soldiers at 33% of maximum health instead of just stabilizing them. So the thing is, you need this ability if you want to actually bring your troops back up to being effective. In combat. Uh, because otherwise they'll just, you know, you'll, just, you'll stabilize them, so after the mission they stay alive, but... They won't come back up to fight. So my medic is the only one who can actually do that. So giving someone else a medkit is nearly pointless. I think I'm good to go. Let's go. The temple ship has appeared. Now is our chance. Here we go. And I'm gonna go over this very carefully. Why did you switch positions? My mechs. You're supposed to be together, but okay, that's fine. Okay. My heavy. You got the... the what, shit, shit and plating? Yeah, shit and plating and scope. Heavy. Heavy. Good to go. Particle cannon. You're back three, of course. Yep, she has to have the Psy Armor, of course. Plasma Sniper Rifle. Pistol should be changed. You have the scope and the chitin blading. John Smith. You're good to go. Graves. You need the pistol. Titan Armor, Plasma, Plasma, Medkit, Chitin Plating. Good to go. Arrow. You have the Plasma Pistol, Alloy, Titan Armor. Not the Ghost Grenade. Let's give you a scope. Am I good to go? Everybody's got the good weapons. Everybody's got the good armor. Chitin Plating. For everyone. And a scope for everyone, except for the Medkit for Graves. Let's go. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. I like how there's a button here to return to base. Just like, go all the way up to the alien ship and then just... Just go back. Like, oh, I'm going back. Bye. <laughs> Can you actually do that? What happens if you press it? Central? You have nothing- you have nothing to say, Central? Oh god. I'm going to take that as a bad omen. Tip, when facing an enemy at long range and armed with a shotgun, consider switching to a pistol for reduced damage but increased aim. Ha! Huh. I'm not going to use the fucking pistol. I just bought the pistols and I gave them to everyone just in case, but I'm not going to use them. Never. If I'm out of ammo, and I have to switch to the pistol to shoot someone, I would rather just run into cover than do that. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I would use the pistol. Depends how much damage it does. I don't know what it does now that I've upgraded it. It's probably okay. We finally have the strength to face the Ethereals on their own ship. The future of humanity is at stake. Expect extreme resistance. Force entry to the Temple Ship's bridge. The volunteer must survive. Oh, right. Isley must live. Here we go. Within your grasp, I might be in your ship, but I'm not in your hands. 
Alright, I remember the first time I played this mission in Enemy Unknown. I failed it. I don't remember exactly how, but I got my ass beaten, uh, beaten to smithereens, and... I think the game basically said, um, yeah, so look, do you want to try it again? And it just let me restart the mission. I don't even know why. <laughs> but let's hope that doesn't happen this time. I'm significantly better equipped than I was before. Thanks to my mechs and all the gene mods. So, I might be okay. Alright, so I gotta remember this rift. Wait, whoa, wait, what the fuck is this? I didn't mean to remember the rift, I meant to remember the telekinetic field, because that's gonna come in handy. What the hell is the rift? I don't remember getting that. Did that come from using the device? What the hell? A devastating psionic storm. <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you for the information, game. Could you please tell me how much damage it does? It's kind of important. Jesus. Is it, like, listed as a... Rift. Devastate an area. More damage against targets with low will and reduce damage against targets with high will. Four turn cooldown. O okay. <sighs> Not enough information. I gotta remember the telekinetic field. I believe the telekinetic field affects enemies within its radius as well. Um, distorts and deflects incoming attacks, granting a plus 40 defense to both allies and enemies within the field. Yes. So I need to be careful when using that. Kinetic Strike does 18 damage now. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's move up. Yeah, this was the Room of Death. I think I died in here before. There's no reason to rush whatsoever. Since, after all, there is no meld to get. Yeah, I think there's a door there, but for some reason you can't really see it. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, God. I could, of course, send my troops through all three doors to spread them out. However, I am not going to do that. Hell no. Hope I didn't just block the way. Did I? No. That's affirmative. Alright, I think we have this entrance pretty well covered. There's really no reason to use that. Overwatch. You know, I believe you can actually, even if you have one turn, uh, one one action point left with Isley, I think you can actually switch your pistol and then Overwatch using the pistol, which maybe should be something I do. I don't, I don't, I still don't know how actually how good the pistol is. I'll need to see an alien, and you know, try to fire at it to see how much damage it's actually going to do, what the range is. Peekaboo. Alright, please tell me that's full cover. Of course it's not. Why the fuck would it be full cover? That would be too merciful. Alright, but that's full cover. No, wait, what? How in the hell is that half cover? Bullshit. Alright, well that's full cover. Was that just two sectoids? Oh, well, two normal sectoids and a commander. Okay. I have no doubt there's more in here. I remember nasty things coming from up here. Like, I think a cyber disk came from somewhere up here. Hmm. Is it going to see me if I move you up here? Let's find out. 
No. Cool. On my way. Excellent. Could I even rift? Shot is blocked. Ah, she needs line of sight, of course. Well, I can't move up without them seeing me. So I'm going to keep my medic in the back because he is the least combat effective as well as the most important person. Oh, the second most important person to keep alive. The first one, of course, being Isley. Because I fail the mission if she dies. I guess I could have put down a proximity mine. I mean, I'm, that's not something I really need to worry about my ammo. I see. Well, thank you for telling me this, villain. I like long, villainous speeches. I kinda wanna just kill the commander and then maybe flame the sec- well, there's no reason to flame, really. Again, that's a consumable. Alright, let's just, um... Let's just move up and see what happens. Oh. Okay, yeah, I was hoping that would activate. Get to one of them, at least. Fortunately, the commander's out of reach. Of course, if it pops up again, I can probably just overwatch it. In fact, that might be a good time to put down a proximity mine, although it wouldn't kill it, so... Eh, uh, what's the point? Alternatively, I could go blow it up. I don't really want to overextend myself, though. I don't want to move too far from this position, so I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna move you up here. 100% chance to hit, I'll take it. I definitely want you up front. Oh, wait. You can... What, what are you seeing? This is you see an alien. What the... What? Oh my god, the game's already bugging out again. Oh. When I did this mission in Enemy Unknown, it... Towards the end, I, I think it was towards the end, there were some weird bugs. Like, some, I remember something weird happened with one of my troops and their... What was it, the grappling hook or something like that? I think I lost a soldier to it, but it might have been af after the end of the mission or something. It was something weird. I don't exactly remember, but... And look, it's already started. There's an alien that I can see, except it's on the other side of the ship, and I have a 0% chance to hit it. Yeah, take me take me to a game. Where is it? I think that's the final room. Wonderful. Good job. I'm watching. Just gonna overwatch that thing. I can't believe that's only half cover. That does not look like half cover. So basically as tall as my troops, like six feet tall. Lies. It's all lies. I do not want to be packed in that much. But we're probably not going to get AoE'd this turn. Come on. Come on, pop up. Or don't pop up. Is that the cyber disc? Yeah. I remember you. 
both of you. They don't get a turn to shoot, right? No, of course they don't. Good. Okay, well, that's why I wanted Isley up here. She... wait, can we even... No, wait, how come we can see them, but she can't see them? I... wait, what? But we can see them. What are you talking about, game? Yeah. You can see it, so why can't Isley see it? Surely her view isn't obstructed. Oh, no, that's... oh, that's the other alien. Right, the fake one. The... the fake alien. The Phalian. Stupid Phalians. You know, I kind of just want to... Telekinetic field and just overwatch. What's the cooldown on that? Four turn, four turn cooldown. Yeah, let's do it. You are not standing on the ground, Isley. Alright, man. Yeah. Let's just overwatch. Come at me. Come on. I didn't just pop like all my overwatches on that one thing, right? No, good. Whew. I hate it when that happens. Like four overwatches being used on a drone or something. Ah, good luck. Oh, shit. Well, I'm dead. Fuck this mission. I forgot they have AoEs. I totally forgot they have AoEs. I have no idea what you just said, alien person. I was kind of distracted by this incredibly slow motion. There we go. Reaction <laughs> shot. Oh. The other cyber is using that AoE me, is it? God, I really fucking wish I had restorative mist right about now. Oh, it's not even dead. Are you taking over Isley? Yeah, that's not gonna work. She has psi armor and neural damping. Please don't AoE. Good, thank you. Alright, this is off to a very bad start. Unfortunately, using my medic on all these people would be a very bad idea. Since it heals 10 and it's... yeah, I don't need to. Uh, I mean, they're not hurt that much. It's only 5 hit points. They're fine. Unfortunately, my cover's not. And Isley is out of commission. So, fuck. It's time to use some consumables. What kind of chances are we looking at? 72, that's good. Right, I'm thinking I should just shoot at it. Let's do that. That's a bad start. Let's try that again. That's a better start. And an end. Alright, that thing is Overwatch. So I should probably kill it by using run and gun. It's 
probably the best way. Because if anyone else moves in a range to actually hit it, then they're going to get overwatched. I could use a grenade and like a rocket, but that's kind of over the top, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's over the top. Then again, that plus a proximity mine would kill it. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna overwatch it. Where do I put her? Here? Not a bad spot, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, it's dead. That didn't even trigger its overwatch for some reason. Now I can safely move without worrying about overwatch. I could punch you. Which is tempting. Commander is definitely the most important thing to get. I guess if I was going to shoot him, I probably should have just punched him. Oh well. Alright, two drones. I think I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I can move and lose my height advantage. But get into cover. Yeah, I'm gonna get into cover. My chance to hit it actually got better or stayed about the same? Didn't expect that. Alright, we're good. Alright, time to regroup and... Wait for my telekinetic field to recharge and reload. So where are we gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna go down the center again. What? Oh, right, that alien. <laughs> I guess it's gonna be there for the entire game. Fine, fine. Ah, oh, such shitty cover. All of it's half cover. Garbage. Let's just get people reloaded. No rocking and rolling right now, we're just biding our time. Alright, so we can move up a bit. Oh. 
Eh, that's okay. Goodbye. Annoyances. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, so yeah, I should be able to overwatch with her pistol, I think. Yeah, you can. Alright, let's give it one more turn. Because the telekinetic field. No reason to go too fast. No pressure. Okay, time to go. Any full cover? Of course not. Why would there be? So this is a massive chamber, and I remember there's... Well, you get a huge height advantage if you stay in the center. So this is going to be a shooting gallery for Isley. I just need to get her into position first. Uh, battle scanner definitely would be handy here, but I don't have it, so... No point in worrying about that. Hmm. Nothing yet. That's good, actually. I can get Isley out there, then. Heading to that location. That was an awkward time to find a new alien, but it's only one normal floater, which is incredibly weak. And no one can see it. You, wait, you... You can see it? Grave saving the day. Uh, I like how at just the right angle, this force field over here is having a seizure. Look at that. See it flashing? Ah, still the fake alien. That makes no sense whatsoever. Is there any full cover up here? No, it's all half cover. Ah, I can go down there, but then... Ugh. No hide advantage. None. Let's get my people into place a bit more before I move up. That's another awkward time to find aliens, but they're just normal floaters. Well, that one's not normal. That's a heavy. It's okay, though. Hopefully, Isley can see them. One. Not a guaranteed kill. Soften you up first, I guess. Try number two. Soften you up first, I guess. That's better. I 
Oh wait, it's in cover. It is in cover, and it's real cover, isn't it? Yeah. So it isn't going to eat up her whole turn, but so what? Actually, wait a minute, you can mind fray. Of course, that's going to use up your whole turn, too. But it's fun. And it doesn't use up any ammo. And there's no cover there. I think I'll just put my people on Overwatch. I'm on the move. Unless you can see it. No. Ah, you can't see it. Come on. Come on up. Well, you're gonna die then. Who can see? Can anyone see you? You can. Once again, Graves is the only one that can see it. My medic's getting all the kills. That is not typical. Get some more reloading here. Oh shit, I meant to reload him. Ah, I overwatched. That's affirmative. I've got a visual. Well, so much for that. I meant to reload and instead I overwatched and missed the overwatch and then moved someone up and then discovered enemies anyway. <laughs> they're all screaming because they're getting flanked. Don't worry about it. Don't be stressing. Don't be stressing. There's no need to worry. Because you have Isley. Who's going to do this? That I can't see because it's being covered by Cotton Candy Smith's gigantic weapon. And that's not a euphemism, by the way. John Smith, do you really have to wave your massive weapon in my face? I know you're proud of it, okay? But it's kind of in my way. I'm on it, Commander. And now I'm actually going to reload. Got it covered. For realsies. Moving to Overwatch. Alright, I would like to know how powerful Psionic Storm is. Let's find out. It is really cool looking, though. I wonder if it's going to continue to hurt them when they're inside of it. Next turn? Maybe. But I will probably not find out because they're going to be dead. Or not. So much for that. Graves is going to save the day again? Yes, he is. Uh, 
apparently this alien dude is opening the doors for me, welcoming us into his chamber. That can't be a good thing. I'm assuming from that that there's probably no more aliens inside of here, so I'm gonna reload. Alright, yeah, there's no more in here. Let's go ahead and move up. Full cover for once! Actual full cover. Is... Is that really the most efficient way, Arrow? I don't think so, but... Oh, it's because the way was blocked. Oh. I'm sorry, that was rude. I didn't mean to block your way with my gigantic mechs. Although I kind of think you could have fit around them. There's a good couple feet there, but... Okay. Alright, so how close are we to the end chamber? Because I'm assuming this alien goes to the end chamber. I, th I think that's the end chamber. If it is, then it's actually not that far away. Maybe this won't be a two-hour mission. We'll see. That Phantom Aliens is seriously going to be with me for the entire rest of the game, game, isn't it? It keeps distracting me so much because it sounds like there's someone I need to shoot, but there isn't. It's going to drive me crazy. Alright, let's take a peek. They think they can get away from me. Well, I can't flame them both. I could grenade them both, but I don't want to have to. Let's surround them with my mechs. Oh, hi. What the hell are you doing down there? It's weird. That's not a very good chance. Can you destroy this? You can! Ooh. Well, in that case... That... That didn't really destroy it. That didn't do what I thought it would do. Hmm. I guess I'll collateral damage again. Uh, what? Okay. I don't really get what happened there. 
That's strange. I think I can just ignore that one because it has such a high disadvantage that it probably can't hit me. Can anyone move in and then shoot? No. Goodbye. You can fill the air with as much toxic, acidic, whatever stuff this is as you want. Even though she has no sleeves, she actually has Titan armor on. Which makes her immune to that stuff, somehow. Even though she's not even wearing a mask. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it works at all. It's very confusing. I actually might be able to hit it with Isley. Nope, she can't see it. Damn. Could have overwatched with her, but I don't really care. Moving out. Are you going to try to shoot or are you going to run? Good luck. Holy shit, that actually hit. Count me surprised. I bet you, re you regret shooting at me now, don't you? Alright, regroup and reload. That's right, she doesn't have Titan armor. Okay then. In that case... I better heal you. the final chamber yet, are we? No, this can't- this isn't the final chamber, is it? No. No, that's the final chamber. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. That actually is quite pretty. Yeah, that's the final chamber. So, no, we have quite a bit to go. We have quite a bit to go. Okay, yeah, we're like, what, half done? More than, a little bit more than half, maybe? About half. Take a peek. Ah, another one of these shitty half-cover places. At least we can spread out a bit, though. That's good. One more turn of waiting. Alright, that's gotta be full cover. 
In fact, is that... Okay, let's put you there. all my troops up to shoot this turn. I think I can. I can. I guess I'll just move. Well, no. I mean, I've used up all of Arrow's turns, so I probably shouldn't. Can't do that. No, let's move up slightly. Just, just a wee bit. I'll move you here. I guess I get science break. What's the point of science creation? We're not exactly getting it mind controlled by a freaking muton berserker. They don't even want to move. Okay, so apparently this alien is... under... my feet. According to this indicator. Interesting. I guess I just move up. Close combat specialist! You're gonna regret that. Actually, you can't because you're dead. And dead people can't regret anything. Yes, move closer, move closer, move closer! Yes, thank you for moving closer! Except it didn't... Okay, that makes no sense. It didn't trigger close combat specialist. Okay. Fine, game. Fine. Fine. Screw you too. I guess I should probably just rapid fire you. Yeah. Actually, it might trigger close combat specialist right here. It did! <laughs> Three shots. Those things just get shredded by assault troops. Not a bad chance to hit, not a great one. like that. That's not gonna kill them, what's the point? I could Cyclone Storm them, I suppose. Hmm. Good proximity mine. They're probably not going to move, though. They're probably just going to shoot at us. Let's just do this. Alright, let's give John Smith a go. There we go. That's better. <laughs> he shot off the top of the, the thing. The alien generator or whatever the hell that was. Hmm. 
Alright, I could rift them. Let's see what the pistol does. Up to five damage. Ugh. And that's with it upgraded all the way in a plasma pistol. Yep, they suck. Whoa! Fifteen! Okay, it did say that they do damage based on the will of the target. I guess the chrysalids, for some reason, have high will, but the mutons have very low. Fifteen damage! That was massive! Holy crap! Alright, anyone need to reload? Kinda. Oh yeah, big friggin' chamber. I want Isley to be right up here, so she can cover the entire chamber. How is that full cover, but this is half? Okay, then. Yeah. About that. Fuck. We are absolutely going to be using telekinetic field. And we're going to be using the shredder rocket. And we're going to be using a lot of AoEs, I believe. Yes, we are. This is why collecting intel is extremely important. If I hadn't have known they were there, I would have been so fucked. Right. Let's move up a little bit and reload. We really want to be prepped for this one. Two sectopods. I've never taken two sectopods at the same time. I wish I had a ghost grenade right about now, because I could I could get everyone in a position. Which would be excellent without being seen. Moving to position. Ready to engage hostile targets. Moving. I do have disabling shot. So I could at least disable one. Okay. Not much of a reason to wait for the rift, I would think. It's probably not gonna... I don't even know if it would hurt them at all. There isn't even a limit on the range you can do that at, is there? No, you can do it anywhere you want. You just need a line of sight. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
I don't know how close I can get. I, I want to be able to inch up and just... You know what I want to do? I want to put all of my three proximity mines right in the center of them before they even know I'm here. Which actually is probably what I'm going to do if I can inch up here, but... I'm trying to see, how close can I get? Okay, well you're there and you just found them, right? So if I'm on the same level, they're going to see me. So if I'm back, like, here, I should be okay. Hmm. I want to hit both of them. Alright, well, I'm not going to move you up any further. Yeah, I'm going to put my troops in a line. Location confirmed. And we're going to move the line up until I can launch as many of these damn proximity mines as possible. inspiration actually do? Boosts their will. That's not going to help them at all, right? There's no reason to do it. There really isn't. <laughs> it's still that enemy back there, the one that doesn't exist. Underneath the floorboards, even though there are no boards. Put you on Overwatch with your pistol, why not? Okay. I think I need to be one, maybe two squares up be able to get both of them with the proximity mine. I'm gonna move one. Okay. I'm just inching my way up. Alright, I need one more. We're moving the line. I'm being really, really, really careful here because it's two sectopods after all. I would like to not piss them off. It's gonna hunker you down. Okay. One more. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit them in the back with a proximity mine and hope they don't notice. Nope, because they are blind. All right, there's no reason for me to move anybody else up. In fact, there's no reason for me to overwatch. I don't think. I'm just getting my turn. Alright, here we go! And my last one. These things better not fucking let me down. Okay! Are we ready to get the party started? Actually, I don't believe we are. No, we're not. Hold on. What's the range on this? Right, so I can get there no problem. The thing is, I need her in cover, but she needs her entire turn to be able to shoot it, so I'm actually going to put her here. 
So she at least be in some cover before shooting a rocket. Aside from that, and the turn. Okay, now it's time to do this. So I need to hit all of them right now. So I'm going to open with a shredder rocket, and I'm hoping the shredder will maybe maybe the shredded effect will take effect before the proximity mines do damage to them. I don't know which one's going to come first. But I do know I'm going to do this. Go green ball of doom! Yes! Look at that! <laughs> They're more than half dead. Good luck. You're going down. Okay. Right, so I should be able to just simply kill you. With rapid fire, right? Uh, four, five, mm. If it doesn't crit, it probably won't. Hold on. Maybe going after you is not the best idea. I kind of want to pop your overwatch. Thing is, I don't know if I can hit him from here. Like, if I move here, it'll pop the overwatch, but... I might not be able to shoot it. Now I'm going to take the shot. Or the shot. Oh god, it's not going to work! Oh, the first one missed. Great, one hit point. Lovely. Lovely. Just lovely. I see a telekinetic field in my future. Alright, is this the final place before the last... Yeah, this is the final room. Before the, well, the final room. I kind of want to use my smoke. Like... Huh. <sighs> Yellow. YOLO, 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 YOLO! YOLO? YOLO? It paid off. Hmm. Which one do I go for? Hold on. Alright, you have a much better chance to hit. Alright, let's kill that damn thing. I will take the shot. If I can't kill it, I'm just going to use the telekinetic field with Isley. Okay, that's a very good start. Now, how about you? Please? 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 66%? 66%? Yes! Oh, that's a load off my mind. What the hell was that?
and usher in our future. I guess I'll just leave Isley there. Why not? Yep, yeah, she'll be able to shoot him. Probably. Uh, is there a third one, or did it just teleport? I can't even tell. There's that alien, still under there. Wouldn't it be funny if I go to complete the mission and I can't because it still thinks there's something alive? Because of this alien that doesn't seem to exist? That would be hilarious. And it's the exact sort of thing this game would do. Alright, let's just start moving up. I don't want to leave her there just because she can shoot so much, but yeah, I'm gonna leave her there. En route to target. I mean, the only disadvantage is time. It's just gonna take like you know three or four turns to get her back up to the front, but that's fine. Well, that's gonna hurt. Or not. I guess I'll just kill you with rapid fire. I think they're just teleporting. Really? From all the way up there, and she's in full cover. Well, you're getting a heal. And you're getting a dead. Moving on up. 
Let's get into position. That should be all of them. And reload our weapons. Position bestätigt. Should be the final chamber right up here. Moving. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Let's make sure that's all of them. Mm-hmm. All right, gonna move you up. I wonder. Maybe I could kill that alien that apparently exists here with an AOE. That'd be funny if I had to. Location confirmed. Yeah, yeah. You're filed through a very narrow little hallway here. It's very strange that you can't really actually see what's blocking your way. There's some sort of a force field doorway thing. But for some reason, I can't see it. I don't know why. That's how it was when I played Enemy Unknown. It didn't seem to matter which angle or whether you're zoomed up or down. You can't see it. There's something there. I bet there's no full cover with which to use arrow here. Probably none. Yeah, I don't think you can. Oh man, if only I had a ghost grenade. Get all my troops in a position, that'd be so great. Or a battle scanner, but I'm gonna have to go in blind. It's gonna suck. Okay, so... There's basically no point in me keeping my heal wound, I think. I'm thinking I should heal someone. Like, should I use them before going in there? I'm thinking I should. Because the chance of being able to use them while in there is pretty low. It's possible, though. But probably not. Alright, well, Arrow's hurt by five. I'll just heal Arrow. Leave everyone else. Well, then again, uh, Smith is also hurt by five. And they have the same number of hit points. Actually, Smith has more. One more. Hmm. Do I use them? Yeah, I'm gonna use them up. I don't think I'm gonna need them inside. Now I will heal Arrow. Affirmative. Doucement, soldat. Oh, 
Okay, there's something I need to do here, though. I need to I need to pump my people up with Psy Inspiration first. I need to know how long that lasts, though. For three turns. Okay. Strengthens their will by plus 30 for three turns. I wonder if you can stack it with both of my Psy troops. That would be amazing. So we're going to need to huddle together and become inspired together. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I'll use both of theirs. Why not? I doubt I'm going to get a chance to use it inside. At least not on more than, say, like, one troop. So I need to get everyone in here. Which should be totally doable, actually. To everybody. Actually, no. Someone needs to reload. Two people need to reload. Good to go. Yep. Okay, and this Psy Inspiration should be able to hit everyone. Yes. Okay. We're going to double Psy Inspiration. We are going to be very inspired between that and... Uh, neural damping. I think I should be okay. But I am going to do that in the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. I do actually have to be right back, though, so I'll be right back. Alright, I am back, and I am scared. It's the final room. I'm probably going to be fine, but last time I was here uh, in Enemy Unknown, I was not fine. I won. But it was a harrowing experience. If that's the right term. So instead of doing it, I'm just going to stare out at this beautiful water. Look at that. Look at that sunset. Reflecting off of the waves. Very pretty. Looks like there's a little bit of land over there, too. A small island. Hmm. Reminds me of Age of Empires 2. I'd like to colonize that island. See what kind of resources it has. Maybe it has some gold, some stone. I certainly don't need any more wood. God, there's always so much wood, isn't there? Oh yeah. I'm playing XCOM. Not Age of Empires. Um, right. So I need to sigh inspiration. It's gonna last two turns. Or three turns, I mean. And I'm going to use up one of those turns, just waiting, because obviously I want the two people that use their sigh inspiration to be able to actually do something next turn. Be inspired! Oh, they all took notice, didn't they? What the hell? Oh, be, be careful, Finn. Be careful. Don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Okay. Okay. This is not time for stunts, Finn. Did I say arrow? I'm not sure if I said arrow. I meant Finn. I don't think the second one did anything, but that's fine. Okay, this is it. This is the turn where I need to do stuff. Hmm. It seems Arrow can't go in. Her way's blocked. It's okay, though. There's no. There's really nowhere for her to go. That she could stay in cover. Unless she can make it all the way down here. I don't... Uh, I don't think she could make it that far. Shall I get the party started? Here we go! Let's get this party started. Hey, what's going on? Oh. Oh, maybe I actually have time to get my troops set up. That would be wonderful. Yeah, she can't make it. Which is precisely what I thought. Oh, 
on my way. Well, Psy Inspiration might go to waste. But it's okay, because I would much rather have my troops actually in cover and able to shoot. Alright, four turn. Four, four turn. Four turn. Yes. Four turn. Cooldown. On that, so I could wait, but uh, I don't really want to. We'll see. It depends on whether they show themselves. I feel, Commander. Monitor your sector. It's gonna go. Guardia, affermativo. Overwatch. All right. I'm not sure if they're gonna be moving. No. Maybe I should wait. There's really not much of a reason not to. I guess I'll wait for the Psy Inspiration to come back. We'll be back a little bit. You might be able to get inside of the over the, the Inspiration. Bubble, although I don't think you will be. No, they won't be in. Both of my mechs will be outside of it. Unless I do it from Finn. I might get hit by Finn. Yeah, they're not going to move. Overwatch. Roger. Okay, here we go. Time to inspire. That actually will hit everyone. Perfect. Alright, not going to double up on it, because it doesn't look like you actually can. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even show the... doesn't even show it working on your allies, so I don't think you can. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put you there. Okay. I was concealed, but apparently it starts it anyway. Is, is that it? Uh, what are those? Because I don't see anything there. Interesting. Okay, so there's, what, two ethereals, and I'm assuming there's a third one that's still up there up front? Do they actually know that we're here? I don't think they do. Okay, I can shoot an invisible thing. Um. I... What effect would shooting an invisible thing have? It's kind of invisible. I don't... I don't think I'm going to do that. Pure 
I right, just get my people in a place. Oh, oh, what? What is it? The fuck? What am I shooting? Info, please. Right. Well, I. <sighs> Can I AOE them? The little indicator that would come up showing whether you're hitting them or not is not coming up because they're invisible. Jesus. Well, this is an attractive option. I could rocket them both and then take them out with Isley. To be honest, cover means almost nothing, I think. At least from the Ethereals, because the Ethereals don't shoot you, they use their mind. So, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's do this and see what happens. They're apparently enemies. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm about to kill an invisible alien. D did it work? Uh, okay. Great. Cool. Yeah, you killed that air. You showed who's boss. Okay, so Rift it does damage dependent on the enemy's will, which of course they'll have extremely high will, so doing this is probably stupid. Plus I can't even do it, so what's the point? I could telekinetic field. I don't know if that plus defense really applies to psychic attacks. I have no idea. But if I don't do that, what am I going to do? Overwatch? No, I can't overwatch. I moved. Well, I could with the pistol, but what's the point? I think it only lasts for one turn, though. Is it really... Nah, I'm gonna save it. Hmm, I'm gonna hunker down. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna provide plus defense. Two psychic attacks, but I really don't want her to get mind controlled. Even though she probably won't, because she's got all the, you know, side bonuses and whatnot in the side armor. But still. Alright, I'm gonna put you up here. So that next turn, hopefully you and Arrow can go take care of this one. And I will do the same for you. I'll put you up over here. <laughs> Maybe I can even punch one. That would be fun. And I'll just overwatch. Failed? Failed. Okay. Whew. I guess they want to use humans for specimens. Or, I guess, specifically Isley. Since she has the gift or something. Anyway, the important thing is I'm going to kill them. Let's just get to it. Let's get started. 
I'd, I could flame you. <laughs> Ooh, that actually might be good. Compared to a 56% chance to hit, I think I'll take it. And it actually did the full damage. Okay, cool. I think it panicked, too. Mind Frey? 80% chance to hit with Mind Frey? Wow. That's kind of amazing. Right. Well, I can take you out if I can soften you up first. Let's attempt to do that. You're a pretty damn good shot, Graves. Eh, I could fire my last rocket. I'm not sure if there's any more of these things, though. I really want to risk it. Just in case something more comes in. I really don't remember. Oh, wait. And now I wish I fired a rocket. <laughs> I didn't know that one was there. Okay. Hmm. Mind tree might be the way to go. 45% chance to hit is not very good. Alright, well this one's not going to die. Hmm. I mean, that one's not going to die this turn, there's no doubt about that. I'd like to get this one. The chance of being able to kill it though is... okay. Let's see what happens with this. Alright, pretty good chance of killing him. We are exactly what we will have always been. We'll be fine, trust me. Alright, I need to take a risk here. A little bit of a... Well, not a risk necessarily, but a gamble. I'm gonna mind fray that one and then attempt to kill it with Isley. And really, really, really hope I can kill it. Excellent! 19 damage. Wow. Can't mind fray you. Yeah, I guess I'll just take a shot. Could rift. Nah. Look at that camera shake. Good shot. Is there another one? Why do I see two? Oh. You're seeing that alien too. I thought it was just Smith. Apparently not. Holy hell, I'm getting lucky with these hits. I'm hitting with like 50 percenters. Good luck. Actually, wait, you don't have a gene mod or inspiration anymore. There's actually a pretty good chance, yeah. Pretty good chance that's gonna happen. 
However, I should be able to take you out. Goodbye. That was, that's not it, is it? Is that it? Talk about anticlimactic. That went better than last time. Okay, here's the final video. Enjoy. The second wave is coming. New custom gameplay options are now available for your next game of XCOM Enemy Within. Select the second wave option on the difficulty menu to access the new features. Okay. Let's take a look at these statistics. Which I believe, just like last time, some of them don't make much sense to me. My s overall score is 2,600... About 2,600. The average world score is... 11,000? I don't even know. That doesn't seem right. Days until victory. Alright, a little bit more than average. Battles won, more than average. Battles lost, uh, less than average. Aliens killed, more than average. Soldiers lost, less than average. Funding countries, less. Countries lost, more. <laughs> yeah, I lost a lot of countries. Days until alien base cleared, yep. Waited a long time for that one. Days until ethereal device discovered, almost exactly the average. Days until Psionic Soldier discovered quite a bit more. Battles fought. More battles won, more battles lost. Wait, this is the same... Wait, what? Game summary. Oh, that's the summary. This is the breakdown. So it's different. Um, average shot percent chance, a little bit less. Average damage per shot. Holy crap. Average damage per shot is way less. Uh, wait. The average damage per shot, world average, is 21? That doesn't seem right. Average number of turns per battle. A bit more. Yeah, I took my time. One shot kills, a bit less. One shot deaths, less. Aliens killed by explosives, a hell of a lot more. I loved my explosives, didn't I? Soldiers hired, less. OTS upgrades purchased, more. What the hell's OTS? On the... 
Street? I don't know. Days until first colonel. Bun mo bunch more. Days spent in infirmary. Much less. Psionic soldiers. Less. UFO shot down. More. Interceptors lost. More. Interceptors hired. Less. Firestorms built. A little bit less. Days until the first one built was quite a bit more. Interceptors aborted. Less. Aim assists used. More. Defense matrices used. Satellite tracking used. Zero, zero. Science and engineering. Um. Okay, apparently the average number of scientists the world had was seven... 75,000? What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure these made no sense last time. And they don't make any sense now. Like, is this the total number of scientists the world had? Because if it is, then that makes no sense. Why, why would the game tell you that? Especially since laboratories built is obviously an average. Not a, total, not a total figure, so it stands to reason that this is probably an average, but that doesn't make any sense. It's not a reasonable number. <sighs> oh, XCOM, you're so buggy. Technologies researched more. Yep, they pretty much all of them. Average days per technology, more. Alien species captured, more. Engineers built. A lot less than the world average, apparently. They had a lot of engineers. 10,000. Workshops built. Less items built. A lot less. Facilities constructed, about the same, a little bit less. Adjacency bonuses, less. Foundry projects completed, more. Total credits. That. 229,000? No. Credits spent, that makes no sense. Illyrium recovered, that does make sense. About the same. Illyrium used, less. Alien ally recovered, more. Alien ally used, more. Funding countries, less. Funding received, less, yeah. Great market sales, that number makes no sense. Continent bonus, less. Satellites launched, less. Satellites destroyed, less, zero. Days until second satellite, one day. Wait, what? It was one day until my second, wait, that, is that right? That doesn't sound right. Okay. Days until third satellite, 88 days. <laughs> days until first continent covered, 88 days. I don't trust any of these statistics. Not a single one. Okay, well there's the credits, and that is the... Well, it's, it's a rather anticlimactic ending, and it was when I played Enemy Unknown. It's kind of just like, oh, okay, it's over. Which... I mean, the game's not about the story, at least not for me. It never was. It's always been about just the gameplay. In this case. That certainly doesn't hold true for every game, but in this ca in this game's case, yeah, I never really cared about the story whatsoever. It was all about just the fun of the gameplay. So, it's not really a big deal. And, well, I kind of talked the end mission up quite a bit, and as you saw, it actually turned out extremely easy. So, I think that's a result of the changes they made in Enemy Within. Because when I did that in Enemy Unknown, it was very, very difficult. It was extremely difficult. I ended up with like half my soldiers mind controlled. And I guess with all of the gene mods and the mechs, it just wasn't that hard this time. So I'm not sure how well they've really balanced the difficulty with the recent changes they made with Enemy Within. I remember when I first started this run-through and I was reading on the Steam forums about... about the different difficulty settings and how difficult it was because I was considering going with classic difficulty instead of normal. And I think what I read is that... is that with Enemy Within it makes the early game harder, but then the later game easier. And... That sounds spot on, because this game was actually it was actually quite difficult at the beginning. I lost quite a few soldiers early on. But after a while, it got really easy for the most part. Which, the original Enemy Unknown did have that same sort of problem. To a degree, but not to this degree. Yeah, I, f I feel like it's more imbalanced with all the stuff they've done. With all the stuff they've added with Enemy Unknown, or uh, Enemy Within. But anyway, yeah, it's still it's still a really fun time. I really, really enjoyed playing it. 
Let's see, what is there to talk about? I feel really... I feel like I can't really analyze a strategy game very well. I'm not sure what to say other than it was fun. It was just really fun to play. There's something about the way it's designed that's just very addictive. There's always one more... One more alien landing or... You know, one more... Alien abduction to take care of or a council mission. There's just always something to do and it's different every time. For the most part. It's kind of randomized, you know, there's... It's not totally randomized. There's some things that I recognized, but for the most part it was just... Interesting and new and almost every situation is unique. In some way. It's just really addictive. I always just want to do a little bit more. There's always something to reach for, you know? At least until the end game. There's almost always something to reach for. There's, oh, you know, I need to build this. I need to build that. I want that upgrade. I want this upgrade. There's always something to reach for. I need more meld. I need more money. I need more satellites to get more money, to get more meld, to get more weapons, to, you know. It's just so many interconnected things that you always want. And it just ends up being very addictive. And really, really fun to play. Although it definitely does have a share of problems. I remember in Enemy Unknown, and here as well, it happened here again. There's kind of like a, a period near the end of the game where you're kind of, you have nothing to buy. I had literally nothing to buy that mattered at all. I was just rolling, rolling in money. At that point, the game lost a lot of its fun because, you know, there's nothing to shoot for. I was just kind of waiting for the last mission. So there's, there's kind of a, a point where it starts to lag, and there's really not much to do, which is unfortunate. And the difficulty is definitely wonky. Like, the beginning was difficult. And I wish it stayed that difficult throughout the rest of the game. Because it, it ended up being too easy. If, if there was a difficulty setting that was somewhere in between normal and classic, I think it would have gone with it to begin with. But I almost wish there was not necessarily a more difficult setting, or one in between, but I wish it was just more even. I wish the difficulty near the beginning was the same diff kind of difficulty you see throughout. Because it felt good in the beginning. You know, I felt like I really had to strategize. But towards the end, it just got... Oh, it's so easy. And I could have switched it. You know, I could have switched the difficulty to classic or impossible if I was insane. But, you know, I don't know how difficult those actually are. And I've heard that switching it up does make it... It takes a massive step in difficulty when you turn it up, is what I've heard. So I, I didn't want to risk getting through the vast majority of the game and then suddenly turning the difficulty up and just dying on the next mission. So it kind of put me in an awkward spot. Where I was I was scared to turn the difficulty up, but I wish it was more difficult at the same time. I just wish the, diffi the difficulty was more consistent. But it's still a really fun game. I mean, it's buggy. It's got its fair share of problems, especially with the difficulty and the balancing of the game. It's pretty damn buggy, as you saw many times. Thankfully, it wasn't buggy in a way that screwed me over particularly. It, it never killed anyone, which is nice. There were a couple times when I thought it might, like when all of those mutons spawned right into the center of my group and then took shots at us. That sucked. But no one died, so it was fine. I definitely wish there was more descriptions for what items and abilities do as well. There's a lot of abilities that don't tell you how much damage they do. They just say they do damage and they don't tell you how much, so they don't really give you enough information to work from. Or grenades that don't tell you what their radius of effect is, for example. So there's a lot of things that just I couldn't make decisions on them because they, the game didn't give me enough information. So that's kind of frustrating. Especially, it's especially strange because one of the things I believe they were going for with this reboot of the XCOM franchise is to streamline the abilities and the decisions that you have to make to the point where to the point where there's not a, a ton of decisions to make but there's just a few very very concentrated ones ones where ones that have clear consequences and like meaning to them 
And you can see that in the skill tree because there's always, almost always two things to choose from. You know, it's either this or that. So you have to laser, fo you know, you kind of laser focused on what you want to do with your troop. And it's very clear what one's going to do and what the other's going to do. And you have to pick one at the exclusion of the other. So it's very streamlined, very simplified. Which sounds great, but the thing is, there's some abilities that just aren't very good, and some things that are just never used. They try to concentrate things down, to make it so that every choice is meaningful, but some things don't really matter. For example, the elect- what is it called? Electroshock? Whatever the hell it is, the, the shock thing around the mechs. That ability that does some damage in an AoE and also disables robotic units. I think I used that literally once, maybe twice in the entire game. It's almost completely useless. I don't think it's any good at all. I don't even know why it's there. It, it just kind of seems pointless. It's weird. Almost the same with the punch as well. I mean, the punch was fun for the mechs, but I almost never used it. So yeah, there's just, there's, I don't know, there's a lot of lack of information and in how to make decisions and a lot of flab in terms of the abilities where a lot of them just don't get used. And they're just almost never useful. So it's very strange. But it's still fun. Most of the decisions really do matter. And again, there's always that sense of wanting to do something more, wanting to achieve something more. Always. Your troops can always be higher level, or their psi abilities can be higher level, or there's a new item you want to save up for, or you need to upgrade your ships, uh, your interceptors, or you need to build your base, etc, etc, etc. There's almost always something to do. And it's just so fun and satisfying to try to achieve it. In your own unique way. So it's a really cool game. God, that was a long playthrough, wasn't it? I believe this final episode is going to be, what, the 30th or the 31st episode? I think it's going to be the 31st. Which means my total playthrough, like, length is going to be, what, 35 to 40 hours or something insane like that? Oh boy. I'll have to check and see how long it actually is. This might be my longest playthrough ever. In fact, I think it is. It probably is. Kind of insanely long. It, I've been playing this game for practically a month. I feel sad to give it up, to stop playing. I feel like I've lost something. Like it's it's become a daily thing. I play XCOM every single day. And I have. I've played XCOM every single day for almost the past month. Huh. I'm gonna be sad now. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bad at telling, at describing what is good about a strategy game because I'm not very familiar with strategy games. I don't know a lot about them. I don't really know how to talk about them. But this, yeah, this strategy game is damn fun. It's really, really fun. Which is not exactly the most insightful thing to say, but I really can't think of what else to say. Once again, it just comes down to that sense of progression that's almost always there. And how your choice is almost... Uh, you have to agonize over your choices most of the time. Do, you know, do I overwatch? Do I move this person to better cover? Do I move him to a height advantage? Do I pop a smoke? And you're making those sort of decisions every single... Practically every single turn. In every single mission. So it's just constant. It's this constant flow of... Of kind of agonizing decisions. Where there's real consequences, because I had Iron Man on, so there's real consequences, you know, if I mess up and my troops die, they're dead. Forever. So that makes you have to agonize them over them even more. It's just really, really damn fun. Okay, well... That is the end of my rather epically lengthed XCOM Enemy Within playthrough. It's so long, and at this point I've, I guess, put over f probably over 50 hours 
maybe 60 hours, I don't know, into XCOM in total. Between the last playthrough and this one. I think I'm done with XCOM for a while, unless there's a big expansion pack or an entirely new game. I don't intend to replay it. It's long, it was fun, but it's really, really long and I... I just don't... It's, it's kind of weird, I don't think this game is all that replayable. As weird as that sounds. And they obviously tried to make it replayable because there's randomization and there's the second wave options that allow you to tweak stuff, but... I don't... Like, it's... When I finished Enemy Unknown, I didn't feel any urge to replay, and I don't now. Unless there's new content, I really don't care about replaying. It doesn't feel replayable. For some reason, I don't know why. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't need to be replayable. It's certainly... If you just look at it at value for your money, it's still a great deal. It's like 20... How much was the expansion? It's like... I think full price is $30. Yeah, and I played it for like, well, 30 to 40 hours. That's well, well, well worth it. So I don't feel shortchanged by any means. But yeah, this is it. This is the end of the XCOM project. Until either something massive, some sort of massive expansion pack comes out, or a new XCOM comes out. Alright, well thank you for joining me on this incredibly long journey. And thank you all for submitting your names and giving me tips on how to play and stuff like that. Hopefully your character went on to do great things, and if not, and if you're stuck at the base the entire time, just watching everyone else get all the glory, then I'm sorry. I can only do so much with the troops I have. I just don't need that many. I don't need 20 troops. Although maybe that's coming in an expansion pack. Eh, probably not. That might be a bit much. Can you imagine actually playing with like 20 troops? Those would be some long turns. Whew. All right. Well, I'm going to let the credits play out. But this is the end. Thank you for watching.